Hello everyone and welcome back to Book Break. As you can probably tell, I am not Emma. My name is Joel and I run the booktube channel Fictional Fates. And on my channel, I do a lot of discussion about books, but also, also, I do a lot of talk about writing as well through my writing vlogs. And Emma has kindly asked me today to come onto the Book Break channel to talk about writing. Writing is such an interesting craft. It's such a way for you to express yourself and express your emotions. And I find that poetry is also such a great way to do that. And so today we'll be working with How to Grow Your Own Poem by Hate Clanchy in order to write a poem. And I just am obsessed with this. This book, Kate Clancy has basically been working to help educate people for the past 20 years in order to teach them how to write more poetry confidently and effectively. This book is amazing if you're a beginner looking to write poetry for the first time, or like me, you have written poetry before and you just want to become more confident in your craft. And so today on the channel, we'll be going through one of the prompts specifically, and I will be basically telling you how my poem went. And so I was looking through this book, trying to find the best prompt for me. And I immediately went to the contents page because that's what every person does. And I saw one about a magical object and I was like, huh? And as you can see on the page to how to grow your own poem, there is missing object two, Ode to a Magical Object, as well as an example poem for you to read before you write your own. And then on the next page, it says, your turn. And on here, there are so many prompts for you to follow in order for you to write your own poem. Me, last night, being the eager beaver that I am, I saw that and immediately got to writing and I was just really inspired. And I was thinking about a lot of the magical objects that I know of. So many like Egyptian artifacts and there's so many like different cool things like magical wands and staffs and swords and me being a massive fan of swords, I decided that I was going to write a poem about Excalibur, the all-powerful sword that King Arthur uses after he pulled it out of the stone. And so I kind of wanted to kind of twist the tale a bit and talk about how Excalibur could have been used for evil as well. I got to writing my poem last night and I got to editing it this morning because part of the writing process is always about writing and rewriting, making sure that you've honed the, your words and done it carefully and crafted it carefully. And it's definitely something that you get used to a lot more when you write more poems and a lot more prose as well. And I definitely think that poetry is something that is very expressive and is so free to do whatever you want. Me being the basic person that I am, I decided to use four stanzas of four lines with an A, B, C, B rhyming pattern. And so basically the second and the fourth line of every stanza, every verse, will rhyme. And so I present to you Excalibur by me. The blade was tempered into a heavenly glow. The king commanded it hidden, vowed never to show. The blade would kill many all across the realm. If it broke free from its chains, death would overwhelm. The blade sought its master, the young boy since. He could pull it out from its rock and become the kingdom's prince. The blade lying waiting, underneath a living lake, waiting for his return to sit on the throne he'd make. And so I had a lot of fun writing that. I think it was definitely something that it kind of just got me into like the creative juices once again and just feeling kind of productive and powerful writing this and so amazing with all of like the different ways I could craft my words and looking up like what words rhyme with this word and stuff but poems don't have to rhyme you can just do whatever you want with it and I definitely think that Kate Clancy has so many cool prompts and stuff in her book that it will definitely help you come up with your own forms of poems as well. And with my poem, mine was inspired by, again, the Excalibur myth, and also how we have that inevitable death of Arthur and how one day he vows to come back. 
and build the kingdoms of Avalon once again. It was just a lot of fun and I think that it was something that I definitely want to do more of. I definitely think it's going to be something that's going to be quite cool to do more of in the future. I want to thank Emma so much for having me come on to the Book Break channel. You can go check out How to Grow Your Own Poems by Kate Clanchy. It's amazing. I, it's, it's floppy, like, we love floppy books and there's so much inspiration for you to grab from this and if you want to check me out as well you can check out my youtube channel fictional fates and i'm also on bookstagram on the same handle um and so yeah i guess that is everything for today's video i had a lot of fun i hope you did too maybe you'll see me again soon who knows but yeah i guess for now bye friends